There we go. There we go. The concern was, is, as you can tell by my accent, I'm, I'm an, actually an English person living in America. Um, there is about 40% of that class that you will be observing that I'll be teaching are Hispanic as well. Um, so I would like you to target to, you know, the students, my react or their reactions to the way that I speak, and to make sure they fully understand or I'm giving them chance.
evidence of when you did your your initial group instruction and then when you went around the room helping them after the direct instruction. This is um, when you went around the classroom. But I'm going to go back to the ESOL students. What I did notice was there was some coaching here. These students here seem to be at a more monolingual level, more so than the, the students. Yeah, yeah. She's a stronger speaker. And I know that you're implementing all the ESOL strategies in combination. And, and I know you work closely with our ESOL specialist, Ms. Morales. And you've identified that on your lesson plan. And, and keep up the work. I can tell that it's working. Thank you. I did see that uh, I counted that they spoke to each other four times while you were giving the direct instruction. So that's exactly what you said. Yeah. That she did do some translation. Now, when you did do the um, seat work and you were available for all the students, there was a um, behavior management was phenomenal. They did their work, they stayed focused, and you worked the whole entire room. Wherever I wrote a stop sign is where you actually stopped and interacted with the students. And that was in a matter of 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah you did a great job there. If you had to make up some alternative lesson plans or a different method to work on anything that you would want to improve on, what would you want to do from looking at your this is a high high grade? And I see here that you say great job, nice, yep, you got great, good, like that one. You used a lot of I statements and you even said sweet. Mm. <laughs> so I, I thought I'm getting Americanized, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they like that. Um, I mean, I bought a poster um, before we started school, and it's all positive encouragement, mm -hmm. and, and that's directly in front of me. So, you know, if I get used to using one, I can always use another. But, uh, I mean, I, I just think that that is the main part of, of interacting with the students. You know, you, is to is to lift their uh, their feel good factor, you know, and it raises their expectations. That, you know, if I, if I do something well, but I get praise for it, so I'll try that. And it is still working. It's still working. Yes, it's still not working. like last time. Alright. So what you see from here from your mic valley on your phrase and the student talk initiative or the teacher app or from your lecture or your direction or any type of confusion. Um, I know you're at your master level and I enjoy watching that. If you had to structure formulate an area that you would want these same trends or books, what would it be to be from looking at this data? Um. I think to be quite honest is, uh, I mean, there is the remark for when the student starts talking and responding back, you know, to, to me, that um, I would love to do a lesson where I do, I, I actually do less of the work and they do more, more interaction. Um, you know, unfortunately we've now got the new smart one, the, the Mimeo board. Yes, I'll have. And um, so, you know, I'm looking at things that they can do where we're actually doing the work that they're doing the bulk of. Thank you. 